hi guys welcome back to another video with the real lovely and as you can see from the title in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to hang a bloom garland on a wall using command strips so if you don't have a photo backdrop or a backdrop with a banner then this is how you can um, hang your balloon garland on the wall and I'll be using like two to three command strips so it won't cost you a lot and I also will be showing you guys how to make a um, basic balloon garland so I won't go I won't be doing a full detail balloon garland I'll just be showing you guys how to do a basic one and in honor of my second candle relaunch I'll be using white black and white balloons only just because that's the theme of my candles i have like a black and white classic look i'll show you guys later on in the video but that's 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 the reason for using black and white in today's video so for this project it's pretty simple you won't need much you will need your balloons obviously um i have some fish in line but you can always use strings if that's easier for you and also some command strips and maybe some 260 balloons just to um, add the uh, 5 inch balloons to it and also a balloon pump for your 5 inch balloons. So when you're making an organic balloon garland, your balloons don't have to be the same size. I like to go in and do random sizes. So when I'm blowing two balloons together, I did I'll, I'll blow one um big one and one small one and put them together and um i'll just continue to do random sizes as i go along and then when i'm filling in the whole garland later on then i'll add my five inch balloons
this on this garland normally i'll use string because it's easier for me and i like it better than a fishing line but i want to show you guys how to do a balloon garland with a fishing line because it's kind of like the correct way to do it it's easier to hide whenever you're using like different color balloons you won't have the string kind of peeping out if you're if you're not too sure how to um hide your hide the spaces in the garland that should be enough for now so i took out a really long piece of um fish and line and i think i'm going to start with black black blue. okay so here i have my first pier and I'm gonna, um, since this is a starter balloon, I have to tie the fishing line on it. On the balloon like three or four times just to make sure it's secured all the way. And I take my other pair of balloon, put it right there in like that space in between the first pair, wrap it around one, then around the existing here you can do it like more than one time normally I'll do it like two times wrap it around a new pair then around the existing pair and then pull like real hard so it's like well secured let's try it again I'm add my balloon on top of the new pair wrap it around a new pair then around the existing pair pull wrap it again around a new pair then around the existing pair and pull. See? And um, instead of using glue dots later on when you're finished to fill in spaces, I don't really have any space like now, but to give your garland more definition, you can um, go ahead and add your five inch balloons. So I could bring the um, fishing line back down here in the middle and then add my five inch balloons wrap it around five inch then around an existing one pull wrap it again then around an existing one and the good thing about using a fishing line you can always like move it back to wherever you want it so i moved it back to the top and i can move it around to the other side and add some more five inch balloons right there white balloons after I um, fill in the spots with some more five inch balloons. Like you see this little space right there? These are good spaces to add your five inch balloons. <laughs>
my command strips and some black strings to attach it to the wall. I'm sure everybody know how to use a um, command strips, but I'm gonna show you guys how to attach the string to the balloon garland so you can hook it on the command strip. I'm gonna cut about three pieces. go towards the back whichever part is going to be attached to the wall that's the section you need to go towards i'm going to put out the seat but this is one of the back balloons and i'm going to tie a string around it because this is what i'm going to use to hang the um the garland you don't want to make it too loose because you don't want it to drop down too much so just like that command strips I used three command strips and now I'm going to take my five inch um, white and black beans and fill in the spaces and you know add more definition to the garden <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the final results for my organic balloon garland. As you can see, I went ahead and added all of the five inch balloons on the black and white. I hung it on three command strips. I hung one at the top, one in the middle, and one at the bottom. And if you guys are familiar with command strips, they're really strong. They can hold up almost anything. But you could go ahead and hang your garland horizontal or vertical, whichever way you like. I hung it this way because that's the um, look I was going for. But you can even add some more balloons and like make it into a half arch garland, which most people do for birthday parties or events. But you could do a short one. Short garlands are always pretty like this one too. And these are the candles. I went ahead and restocked all of my candles so you can go and check them out on loverly.com today before they're sold out. If you like this video, please like, comment, share it, and also don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video.